what happens inside here can determine what happens later out here. The police have mentioned over the years that uh, based on what they've seen for injury rates, uh, they believe our murder rate would be much higher if it wasn't for the skill of our paramedics. The science of trauma medicine is evolving. There are drugs to help stop bleeding, wraps to help patients with severe pelvic injuries. But that's not all that's evolving. And helping a patient is not always the first thing on a paramedic's mind. We've had a huge increase in, in gunshots and gunshots can happen from further away. When we dealt with stabbings, we had to worry about people five feet from us. When, we, when we're dealing with gunshots, I have to wonder what's happening in the house. Paramedics can draw from a variety of high-tech tools, but the difference between life and death can flow from a first impression. Is the person breathing? How bad are they bleeding? Trauma patients quite often need the surgeon and we can't fix them and quite often the ER can't fix them. They need to go to the operating room. So we have to recognize the ones that we can help and recognize the ones that we can't. And that little distinction can be the, the difference between life or death for some of these patients. Hillier says the back of an ambulance is, in effect, a mobile emergency room. But he said some patients need an operating table. And the paramedic's role is to get them there. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Saskatoon.